Hi, it's Lucky Gnome. Today we are going to talk about how just 5 minutes of Uzi playing in low elo can show you what exactly do you need to master to consistently win the laning phase. Obviously, Uzi is an ADC player, so we will use ADC footage as an example. But everything in the CD can and should be applied by the solo laners during the laning phase. So, long story short, Uzi was streaming on the Chinese Super Solo and got a bunch of terrible teams in a row. This made him tilt, so he decided to play on the low elo account to have a little bit fun. He got into a game against ordinary gold players, which created this great vote where we can see how one of the best laners in the world punishes mistakes you and I do on a daily basis. Tip number one is don't overlish. Take a notice when Uzi is leaving the buff, 136, and he's already heading towards the lane. It is very important to try to get level 2 first if lane matchup allows you to do so. Because Uzi didn't overlish, he got to lane first and was able to last hit first 3 minions without any pressure. He wasn't forced to use any abilities too, which is a small but important thing. Try to use your abilities only to fight the opponent. Tip number 2. Punish on last hits. As we can see Uzi doesn't have any minions to last hit, while Kaisa has to last hit 3 melees. This is a great timing for Uzi to poke his opponent for free. A small tip for this tip is, try to poke the opponent when his character is in auto animation, not when he theoretically should go for CS. This is a little bit hard. However, it will counter the trick where opponent shows with movement that he wants to last hit, but instead of outing the minion, he actually outers you back. Tip number 3. Kite away from the opposing support. Alistar makes a very aggressive play. Uzi follows the aggression, but keep attention to how he moves his character. Rather than going in for the Kaiser, he actually steps back. There are two reasons why Uzi kites from Leona here. First of all, she didn't use any of your abilities. Secondly, you don't want to trade against two opponents at the same time. You want to trade one on one. If you are solo learner, this is important tip too. You will be in 2v2 and 3v3 situations with your jungler a lot. That concept of kiting away from the champions with abilities of the cooldown should be used there too. Tip number 4. Punishing cooldowns. Leona uses her Q onto the Alistar. This is a trigger for Uzi to go in for a trade again. Kaiser Q is still on cooldown. Leona's Q is on cooldown too. This is the timing where Uzi can make a quick favorable trade and get out. Also take a notice how Uzi did auto E on Kaiser and immediately started kiting away from Leona again. Tip number 5. Pink your teammates who you want to focus. Your support, jungler or any other teammate can't read your mind. Pink targets you want to attack. Do it both in small skirmishes and in big team fights. Tip number 6. Trade when you have a level advantage. This is a very straightforward tip. Levels give you additional points in your abilities. And they give you additional base stats. If you got a level lead, try to immediately capitalize on it. Here Uzi gets level 2 first so he immediately looks for a trade. As always, he tries to isolate the trade, so he finds 1 vs 1 and not 1 vs 2. Tip number 7. If you manage to get your opponent low, crash a wave into their tower and die them. Even if you will die, as long as you killed your opponent, you are in advantage, because you denied all the XP and gold from the minions you crashed into a tower. It is important to notice that if you are dying together with someone else, support a jungler. The more tanky member or members that can drop aggro should go in first. For example, Elise or Xi. Small bonus tip. Don't recall in a random place. Do it at least in the bush. Tip number 8. If you are stronger than your opponent, try to freeze the wave near your tower and zone him from experience and gold. If opponent tries to last his minions anyway, kill him. This tip is a little bit tricky especially for the solo laners, because your opponent can just do a random roll. So, keep attention to where he is and ping your teammates if he lets the lane. If opponent still goes for the roll, you have a number of choices. As a mid laner, you can keep the freeze, shove the wave and roam towards another side of a map, or shove the wave and get tower plates. As a side laner, you also can keep the freeze, or you can shove the wave and get tower plates. Usually roams aren't that good. Tip number 9. Don't try to get tower place if you have no vision or if you don't know where opposing jungle exactly. Here I want to give a small advice from my own experience. 
Having a ward in river usually isn't enough. If you want to safely attack the tower, you need to ward in tribush too. In our game Uzi greets for a tower damage, because he is way stronger than his lane opponents. However, I don't think he is strong enough to 2v3 without summoners, which ultimately leads to him dying. Tip number 10. If your jungler does a stupid gank, it's ok to ignore him. As we can see here, original idea of the gank was good. Kaisa is very low, Leona is also kind of bruised. However, they book off in time, and gank gets weird. First of all, Uzi is losing CS to a tower. Secondly, he has no idea where Elise is, and on top of it, Leona still has mana for one combo. Uzi just says, ok, this doesn't look good, and backs off, letting Yui do what he wants. Yui goes for a coin flip play and dies for it. Some of you might wonder, why is this guide called how to carry in low elo? Well, if you will consistently crush your lane in low elo, you will climb very fast. If you will always have an advantage after the laning phase, it doesn't really matter what you do in the mid game in low elo. You will be so strong, that you will just kill your opponents again and again. If you will take a look at full ward of this game, you will see that after the lane, Uzi just ran around the map and slowly killed tower after tower while killing everyone who wanted to defend them. By the way, you will find a link to the full vote in the comment section, so since you will be there anyway, please leave any comment there, it will help me a lot. Ok, if you liked this video, take a look at playlists that you can see on your screen right now, there are a bunch of other videos like that there. Also, please leave a like or dislike under the video. If you want to see more videos like that, subscribe, so you don't miss them. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.